In this video, I'm going to show you guys a few different ways to use the rotate tool. First off, if we make a shape, so let's just say we're going to make a square or a rectangle. So let's give it a fill so you guys can see it a little bit easier. Like that. Um, using the black arrow key or move tool, uh, I can select it and just by going near the corner, uh, the arrow turns into a little double arrow and I can just click and drag and spin this around in any direction. Now, if I were to do that while also holding shift, shift is the organizing key and it keeps it rotating at 45 degree uh, angles. So I can keep this very uh, orderly like so. If I wanna just turn it you know, 45 degrees at a diagonal. Now there's other ways to rotate things as well. There is the rotate tool, which is located about halfway down on your toolbar. And uh, if I double click that, it opens up a little um, panel and I can choose a specific degree by which to rotate it. So let's say I want to rotate it by just 30 degrees. I can click, uh, I can choose to preview it and it'll show me what will happen then. Or I could just go ahead and click OK and it will do it for me. Now, there's one other option that it has. Let's say I want to rotate it by 30 degrees, but I also want it to you know, make a second one. I don't want to just change this, the shape. It will make a second shape uh, that is rotated at 30 degrees. And so instead of hitting OK, I'm going to hit Copy. There it is. So we now have two shapes and I can you know, manipulate them separately, independently uh, from one another. So I'm gonna delete both of those and we're gonna do something a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna make a shape. Uh, this time, um, I'm going to, I wanted to have no fill. Let's just make a, like a little rectangle like so. Uh, I'm going to eliminate the fill here. So it's just uh, an outline stroke. So let you see what it's going to do a little bit more clearly. And um, now I'm going to select the rotate tool and I'm going to hold down the alt button. Uh, this might be the option button, your computer, if it's a Mac, but alt or option should do it. And you can see on my cursor uh, that three little dots appear next to it. And when you see that next to the cursor, it means when you click, it's going to open up a menu. It's actually going to do two things here. So number one, that menu opens up and we can see the rotate menu again, but you can also see this little blue axis dot uh, has appeared here. And this has become a point around which all of our shapes are gonna rotate. So I'm gonna be making a group of shapes that are going to be rotating around that central point. So let's, I wanna choose some kind of degree that's gonna be easily divisible into a, a circle, 365 degrees. Uh, or sorry, 360 degrees. So, you know, uh, let's say, um, I, you know, I think 15 or, or 30 should be fine. Let's just stick with 30 for now. And uh, if I just hit OK, it just moves that shape over by 30 degrees. So that isn't exactly what I want to do. Um, so let me re redo that point again. So I'm going to hold Alt and click. And so now instead of hitting OK, I'm going to hit the copy button. And there we go, we got a second shape. Now if I choose to repeat this, this step, you can get something really interesting to happen. Um, I'm going to repeat it simply by uh, hitting Control D. The command key for a Mac would be Command D. And just repeating that over and over again, I can get this kind of interesting phenomenon that could happen. And I can choose to then manipulate these shapes independently. I can group them. I can change the size of them all, uh, whatever it is I wish to do. Right? I can make them like so. Uh, so there's all kinds of interesting potential here. Um, let's delete that and show you guys one other thing that can happen. Uh, let's remove the fill again and get the rotate tool find a rotate point by holding Alt and clicking. 
And then I'm going to make the angle a little smaller this time. Let's do, let's do 10. It might be a little too small, but let's just see what happens. And I'm going to choose copy again. And we're going to get a second shape. It's, this time it's overlapping the first one. And I'm going to repeat it by hitting uh, Control D. Once again, that could be Command D on your Mac. If you're using a Mac instead of a PC. And by repeating this over and over again, we start getting some really interesting overlaps to start happening since I have it uh, with a transparent fill. And uh, once again, all kinds of interesting stuff you can do with this. And uh, if you select it and go to Window and open up the Pathfinder, just another way you can play with this stuff is you can play with, let's see what happens when you combine the paths um, in different sorts of ways. Some of these will work, some of them won't work, some will be very interesting, some will not be interesting. Uh, just gotta play around and see what you can do.